multiply fractions and whole numbers using models. Let's take a look at an example. 4 times 2 thirds. When we multiply 4 times 2 thirds, it means we are finding 4 groups of 2 thirds. Let's draw it out. We have 1 group of 2 thirds, 2 groups of 2 thirds, 3 groups of 2 thirds, and 4 groups of 2 thirds. We have 8 thirds filled in. So 8 is the numerator. The denominator stays the same. So we have 8 over 3. However, that's an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number. We regroup thirds to make holes. One hole and another hole. So we have two holes and two thirds. So the answer is two and two thirds. Now let's do the same equation, but we'll flip the factors. Now we have two thirds times four. When we multiply two thirds by four, it means we are finding two of three parts of a group of four. Let's draw it out. We have four groups and we split the groups into three parts. We shade two parts. Once again, we have eight thirds shaded. That's gonna be our numerator. The denominator stays the same. We get eight over three, which is an improper fraction. We regroup thirds to make one hole and another hole. So we have two holes and two thirds. The answer is two and two thirds. As you can see, both equations have the same product. This shows the commutative property of multiplication, which says that the order of the factors does not change the product. Let's do another example. 2 times 3 over 4. When we multiply 2 times 3 fourths, it means we are finding two groups of 3 fourths. One group of 3 fourths, and another group of 3 fourths. We have 6 fourths shaded in. So 6 is the numerator. The denominator stays the same. So we have 6 fourths. This is an improper fraction, so we need to convert to a mixed number. We regroup 1 fourth to make a whole. Now we have one whole and two fourths, or one and two fourths. We can simplify two fourths to one half, so the final answer is one and one half. Now let's multiply three fourths by two. This means that we are finding three of four parts of a group of two. We have two groups and we divide the groups into four parts. We shade three of four parts. We have six fourths filled in, so six is our numerator. The denominator stays the same. We regroup one fourth to make a whole. Now we have one and two over four. We can simplify two fourths to one half, so the final answer is one and one half. Let's try another one. Three times two fifths. When we multiply three by two fifths, it means we are finding three groups of two fifths. Let's draw it out. One two fifths, another two fifths, and a third two fifths. We have six fifths filled in, so six is our numerator. The denominator stays the same. Six fifths is an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number. We regroup fifths to make a whole. So we have one whole and one fifth, or one and one over five. Now let's do the same example, but we're gonna flip the factors. We have two fifths times three. This is the same as finding two of five parts of a group of three. One group, two groups, and three groups. We divide the groups into five parts. And we shade two of them. We have six fifths shaded, so six is our numerator. The denominator stays the same. Six fifths is an improper fraction, so we have to convert to a mixed number. We regroup fifths to make a whole. So now we have one whole and one fifth, or one and one over five. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, Please subscribe.